Hold very well so far. Struggling to pick him up in this one though. When you bowl that short though, doesn't matter what kind of a delivery you bowl, it's always going to get deposited straight past the boundary rope. Yep, so that four leg by that one gets a bit of turn and just goes over that fielder's head. Nalin Gamage, number 11, and it'll go for four as well once again. Good fashion now. As it takes a bit of an inside edge, doesn't quite get hold of it, but oh, he's let down by the fielder and it was really it was really the near a near perfect over and he won't like that as Gamage comes into the attack that one's uh, on the left side and it's always going to be uh, clicked away nice and full it was there to hit and Jawad Shah hits his second six it's a wider one this is, this is uppish could be a catching opportunity. Just goes over the fielder's head. And that's deposited for another six. Jawad Shah's got his third. It's brought him back into the attack as expected. And this one will also be deposited for six. And Jawad Shah now has really found his groove by the Nicosia Tigers. Oh, that's bowled him. That's a, that's a rankful toss that's just clipped top of off stump. Well, Jawad Shah's uh, brilliant match is just getting even better. Played a brilliant innings of 41 runs, and now he's just taking a wicket. Oh, he's cleaned him up. The match just gets even better for him. These are some eye-popping figures. Five deliveries. Hasn't given up a run, and he's taken two wickets. Both of them, the two important left-handers, Jamal Sadoon and BLCS Kumara, who's now walking off. Oh, this one's popped up in the air. Shah's gonna get another catching opportunity, and this time he makes no mistake. Knocks the bails off, but that won't matter. And Shah, well, his evening continues to get better and better. I don't think he'll even wanna play a second game because surely it doesn't get any better than this. It's popped right up in the air. Does well, though, considering there were a set of stumps right behind him.